Hey kiddos, I know we've done a lot of math this week, but I am so proud of you for sticking with it. These lessons can be a little bit tricky, but they are so important. And I really feel like these are going to get you guys ready for first grade. So I want to keep plugging along and enjoy doing these challenges together. So today we're gonna to take a look at lesson 11-7. So go ahead and get your book out and turn to that page. And I will read the directions. If you want the page number, it's page number 661. Okay, Carlos's teacher gives the class a challenge. She's just like me, I love giving challenges too. Is there more than one way to solve it? Listen, begin at three. Use arrows and show how you could count up 15 places. Color the number red to show where you end. And then show another way to use arrows on the second chart. So on this one, I want you to start at three, count forward 15 spaces. You can use arrows or color the boxes to show your path and color the number red to show where you end. Then I wanna see if you can find a different path on this chart. I'm not gonna show you the answers today. I wanna see if you can do that yourself. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. Don't worry if you don't understand or if you get frustrated. I just want you to try. We're going to do some practice with this together, okay? All right, let's take a look at today's math video. What are some ways you can count on by tens and ones? Let's find out. What does the chart show? The chart shows counting by ones first and then by tens. What number is used to start? Counting starts at 17. What numbers are counted from 17? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 33. You counted by ones first. How many ones did you count? You counted six ones, then you counted by tens. How many tens did you count? You counted one ten. In all, how many did you count up from 17? You counted six ones and one ten. You counted up 16 in all. What number is at the end? 33 is at the end. What does this chart show? It shows counting by tens first and then by ones. What number is used to start? Counting starts at 17. What numbers are counted from 17? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You counted by tens first. How many tens did you count? You went from 17 to 27. You counted one ten. Then you counted by ones. How many ones did you count? 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You counted six ones. In all, how many did you count up from 17? You counted up 16 in all. What number is at the end? 33 is at the end. What is the difference between the two charts? The way that 16 was counted is different. Did changing the way 16 was counted on change the end number?
No, you counted the same number of tens and ones, so you still counted the same amount each time. Sixteen. Both ways end at thirty-three. Now you know how to count on using tens and ones. All right, kiddos. I know that sounds pretty tricky, but we're going to work through this together, okay? All right, go ahead and turn the page in your book so that your page looks like this. What we're going to do is continue getting familiar with that hundreds chart. And we've talked in the classroom how when we go this way, we're counting by ones. But when we move down the chart, that's counting by tens. And we're just going to keep practicing that together. We do not have to have this skill mastered. Parents, if you are tuning in, um, just the exposure to this is going to be very helpful. So we're just going to plug right along. Here we go. Let's take a look at number one star. I'm looking right here, kinders. We're going to start at 22 and make a path to show how to count up 15 spaces only using ones. Okay. Now you can see that they've colored those squares green already for us. That's okay. But here is our path starting at 22 and we're going to count 15 spaces. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we're going to circle the number that we stopped at. Do you see how we counted 15 spaces? We started at 22. We counted 15 spaces and the number we stopped at was number 37. All right, let's take a look at number two, Apple. This time, we're going to start at 12 and we're going to make a path to show how to count up 14 spaces, but this time we're going to be using tens first and then counting by ones. So if I start at the number 12, and if I move down one space, that means I actually moved 10. That's counting by tens. And I'm going to show you, watch this. Starting at 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do you see that? I still stopped at 22, but all I did instead of moving one space at a time. Instead, if I just move down one space, what I really did was move 10. So I counted by 10. So here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it told me to move 14 spaces. That's what I did. And I circle the number that I stopped at. Do you remember a few lessons ago when we practiced counting by tens and then by ones? That's where this is going to come in really handy. Just want you to remember when we count, when we move down, we're counting by tens. All right, we're going to try some more together. Stay with me, okay? Now, I know that at the top of this page, it says independent practice, but I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. So we're going to try a little bit together, and then you can try some by yourself, okay? So let's look at number three, fish together. We're going to start at 42, and we're going to make a path to show how to count up 21 spaces using ones and tens. So watch this, kinders. How many spaces are we going to move? 21 spaces. So starting at 42, here's one space, all right, right there. Now I'm going to go by tens. There's one, there's 10, and there's 20. I'm going to circle that number. I moved 21 spaces, but I did that really fast. I went one. And then I went by tens, 10, 20. We're going to do that again. I want to erase my work. 
And I want to show you what that looks like if I do it by tens first. Here we go. Starting at 42, and I'm going to count 21 spaces. So let's count to 20 by tens. 10, 20, and now by ones, 21. Do you see I still ended at the number 63, and I showed my path. Okay. Now there's a lot of different paths we could take to get there, but this time I wanted it to be by tens and ones or ones and tens. All right, let's do number four heart. We're going to start at 56 and we're going to make a path to show how to count up 15 spaces using tens and ones. Here we go. 10. Now I have to go by ones. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. And I circle the number that I stopped at. I'm going to erase that because I want to show you something, Kinders. I could count by ones. And if you need to do that, that is fine. Here we go. Watch this one. I'm going to count 15 spaces by ones. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Do you see how that took me a little bit longer? Watch what happens when I do it by tens and then by ones. It will, it's faster. I know you already saw me do it, but I want to do it again. Remember, when we count by tens, we move down. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spaces. Do you see how I still stopped at 71 both times? All right, let's try some more. Number five handprint, we're going to start at 72. And we're going to make a path to show how to count up 27 spaces. Here we go. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 spaces. I stopped at the number 99. Kinders, is there another path that you could take to count 27 spaces? There is. See if you can try a different way in your book. All right, let's take a look at number six, coffee cup. Start at 63 and make a path to show how to count up 22 spaces. I want you to pause the video and try that one all by yourself. You might come up with a different answer, and that's okay. Start at 63, count up 22 spaces. Give it a try. All right, hopefully you paused and pushed play again. I'm going to show you the path that I would take, and you might have done something different, and that's okay. Watch this. Start at 63, count up 22 spaces. 10, 20, 21, 22. Did you stop at the number 85? Great job. If you didn't, go back and fix it and see if you can find your mistake. Did you take a different path to count up 22 spaces? That's great too. Let's go to the next page. And this page I'm going to skip if you want to pause it and try this on your own, the directions are at the bottom if you would like the extra practice, but I'm going to move on from that. And here we go. We're at the homework and practice pages. Kinders, feel free to try this on your own if you would like some extra practice. Remember, these pages are optional, which means you can do them if you want, but you don't have to. I am going to skip ahead just a little bit. 
nope, that's not what I wanted to look at. Oh, it ends my lesson right there. Well, that's okay. I'm going to show you something else in a little while. Let's take a look at today's math video while we wait. It's going to take me all the way back to the beginning. That's okay. That's Greta barking in her sleep. Hello again. Have you ever walked down a path to get from one place to another? Today we're going to make paths from one number to another number using a part of a hundred chart. Let's make a path to count up 36 from 52. We can use what we know about counting patterns to make a path. We can count by ones and tens. Here's one plan. There are three tens in 36. So we move down three rows. 62, 72, 82. There are six ones in 36. So we move across six columns to the right. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. We counted up 36 from 52 and ended at 88. What would our path look like if we followed the six ones first and then followed the three tenths? See that? The path is different, but we still end up at 88. Now it's your turn to make a path. Where will you end up if you count up 21 from 14? It doesn't matter which path you make first. You can start with the ones or the tens. Can you picture it in your mind? Did you end up at 35? Remember, you can use a hundred chart to make a path from one number to another number. Thanks for watching. Excellent job today, Kinders. I know that that lesson can be pretty tricky. I'm so proud of you for sticking with me and doing so much math this week. I'll see you next time.